As you can probably tell, I am no longer in chilly Colorado, but instead here in sunny Arizona. GM flew me down here to test drive the newest heavy duty trucks from Chevy and from GMC. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Think of this 2500 as a big brother to the 1500. The design language is very similar. I mean, you look at the front, same front fascias. When you go inside, a very similar interior. What really separates the two trucks is what's under the hood. The powertrains are carryover. Uh -huh. On the gas, it's 360 horsepower at 380 torque. Six liter. Six liter. Yep. And our engines are proven and they've been around for a long time and they're real workhorses. And what's the diesel version? The diesel version is 397. Under the hood, there are two carryover engine options. There's the V8, which puts out 360 horsepower and 380 pound-foot of torque. And of course, if you really want the workhorse, you'll get the diesel. And so tell me the big news. Obviously, these trucks have a much higher towing capability than the last generation. Do you know those numbers? Yes, uh, the highest trailering we have is 19,600 pounds. Is that bumper pull? Yeah, that's conventional. Okay. And then we have the, boy, I wish I would have had my paperwork with me. <laughs> mm. Putting you on the spot. Yeah, you are. And then I think it's, uh, is it 13,200 for fifth wheel. For fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. so yeah. 19,000 pounds on a bumper pull? Mm -hmm. 19,600. Well, it's what you can pull right. conventionally yeah. and what you can do with the truck. So what we're saying is we have a hitch that we've designed within General Motors and it's standard equipment. You don't need to go out and get any additional trailering apparatuses to go with it. You can just put that in the vehicle and go, yeah. which is really kind of a nice attribute for the truck. Now, you know, I'm just a little thing, but I can put the tailgate down like this. And a heavy duty fits 51 mils higher, which is two inches. And I can get into the bed of this truck like a ballerina. You did it very gracefully. Let me, let me try that. So you got the handhold here too. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you're right, it's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, after you're working all day yep. and you got to get in this truck 20 or 30 times, what a difference it makes to just be able to put your hand in a, you know, thoughtful design and just step up right here. There's no taking a step down, having to pull a pole up. It's simple, easy. It's a really great design. We also have tie down cleats in the box where you can put them anywhere you want to tie down a load. We have thoughtful bed lighting, LED bed lighting. So when you got your tonneau cover on at night, can you see. can see what's in the bed. And is this factory? Is the spray and bed liner factory? It is. It is factory. Yep. yep. And um, we've been working. We've been working on this. This is new. We got a lot of beautiful accessories, like the assist steps on the truck. All right. Let's see this. Let's see the step. Show me that. Okay. It's, you've got the. You've got the box step here. Yep. You might have to help me with that because okay. I don't have a, I don't, well, I mean, you'll have to step on it. I don't oh, have enough, I don't have enough mass. I have enough weight for sure. <laughs> you have to cut that part out. Oh, okay, so I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough mass <laughs> to, to get in there. But see, this is thoughtful because now you can reach up, you can get into the bed, right? Yeah, so if you need to get into tools, yeah. you have a toolbox back here. Yeah, yeah, so it's all about, this is my work tool, this is my work car, so I can get in here. So let me ask you this, uh, obviously the interior uh, is a lot, uh, more updated and mm -hmm. the front is a lot updated it looks very similar to the 1500 is the design language the same the design elements are similar yeah. however when you look at the heavy duty there's a couple unique things uh -huh. on the heavy duty you have a real steel hood you have standard projector headlamps you have a one-piece bumper um, that is strong and very masculine looking and you have very significant airflow into the front grill to keep your engine and transmission cool and it's a work truck yeah it's a work truck and it, it's it's got a lot of beauty and elegance and it's got a lot of muscular look to it 
it looks very car-like actually if I'm being honest you know it looks like you put a lot of car-like features into it and I don't mean that as an insult it just looks very elegant and very uh, comfortable well see this is a nice feature you got the under seat storage where you can put your computer or you can put your files in there you can lock it up and then you've got some more storage here so there's plenty of storage here also, this is the Z71 package, which customers really like. They don't refer to their truck like it's, you know, just a three-quarter ton. They talk about their trim levels. They talk about they have a Z71. This has a unique cluster tack. It also has um, badging. In, badging on does the it, inserts. Does it give you better uh, shocks? Yes, it has uh, the Ranchero shocks. And if you look at them in the back, they're red and they're branded. Uh, also, heavy duties have an assist handle here, so when you're getting in, so when you're doing that uh, two-inch step in every day, you've got that to make you more comfortable. You've got, you know, your uh, adjustable steering columns. You've got big knobs to work things with your gloves on. And well, the one thing I noticed is you've got an integrated brake controller, but it's on the left side. A lot of times people like it on the right side just because they're right-handed. Well, we kind of moved it up, yeah. and what we tried to do is we tried to think about the fact that we put the four-wheel drive buttons up higher, yeah. and we put the integrated brake controllers as well. Another really nice feature is for the first time on cloth seats, particularly pickup drivers who are driving all day, we have heated seats for cloth, and that's very therapeutic for people who are in their vehicles a long time. They really enjoy having the heated seat on their back. Yeah, and can you get cooled seat? Is that an option? You too? can. So you can, yep. It's pretty luxurious. And you got standard airbags on the three quarter ton and they're available on the one tons. Have you released pricing yet? Uh, the pricing is just starting to come out. Okay, so no no official word yet on that? Right. All right. And of mm -hmm. course, since they're heavy duties, we don't have MPG numbers. Right, because they're an unregulated <laughs> fleet. Anything yeah. that's uh, over 8,600 GVW. But we do have the tolling numbers. And how about yep. payload numbers? Do you know those off the top of your head? Uh, 7,343. Very good, yes. Yep, that is one of the best payload numbers that we have on the three-quarter ton. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll get hopefully acceleration and, and a little bit of real towing. Thank you very much. You sure much. will. I Thank you. I appreciate your help. Thanks. Yep.